what I really liked about doing the Olvis Guided Tour was small group. I mean, there were five on our group. That's right. When you do see a bird, even though the like I had, you know, what amazed me is I had a hundred to three hundred zoom lens in my camera that I didn't have to, you know, in my kit that I didn't have to get out that's because right. the birds are so tame that they're, they're they're not, you know, they're not scared of humans. No, that's right. I think we always sort of joke that jokingly say they've actually reverted back to old DNA because they actually don't see us humans as a real threat, particularly the robins, which is probably what you're mentioning. Yeah, well, they're, they're at your feet. They're yeah. at your feet. They really don't see us. And I always joke they just think we're funny mower in funny coats wandering around. We're not really a threat to them, and that's just really unique because. Any experience with wildlife is special, but when you get something that's not really scared of us, that's you know Galapagos and you know and a few places in the world, and it's a really good example of that. Yeah. Um, so uh, yeah, it's a, a coming back to the group size. Uh, everyone that has to go to Olver to guide has to uh, accompanies have to have a concession of maximum of 12 people. Yeah. That's. But we always think that's way too much, so we'll always try and keep the group sizes to six, seven at tops, really. Yeah. But yesterday, I went on the tour and got perfect weather. We didn't get any rain. That's right. Fantastic island. Now, um, Olver's guided tours. Olver, who took the tour yesterday, That's correct, is yeah. sort of, would you say, semi-retiring? Yeah, she likes to think she's semi-retired. We always joke that she's been retired since she started. But uh, no, she's, uh, she's taken a step back from the walk. She's probably one of the original uh, companies on the island that started nearly 20 years ago. Um, guiding on uh, Olver Island, uh, which is a predator-free sanctuary just around the corner from here, home to some pretty rare endemic birds. And Olver set up uh, the company, and uh, slowly over the last years, she's sort of stepping back a bit. I've been working with her for about 10 years, yep. um, and it probably is, you know, uh, for a lot of people, the highlight of Stewart Island is Olver Island. It's one of the main big draw cards to come down here. Whether you're a fanatical bird watcher, photographer, or you just want to wander around and enjoy it what New Zealand would have looked like and sounded like, you know, before man turned up.